Well, I don't think the score indicates how difficult of a matchup that was. I thought Utah State coming in here, uh, winning the last four games, had a great deal of confidence. Uh, their length created some issues for us, and we didn't shoot the ball extremely well from three. Um, in the third quarter, uh, they had all the momentum. I believe the score was 33-32, and then all of a sudden we went on a 7-0 run. Uh, we got a transition basket, but certain plays in that stretch I thought really ignited our offense. No doubt Taylor Russ hitting two threes was a big part of that push. Uh, more importantly, Liv Roberts was open and gave the ball up to Taylor in the corner for her second one. Uh, that's a smart play to be made when somebody just made a three. But the bigger play in it was Clara Tapia's steal. Uh, we were fronting all night long. They went over the top. Clara came from the backside, made the steal, got us in transition, and then Natalie comes up with the three-point old-fashioned way of getting a layup and a foul. And I thought that stretch really then set the tone for the fourth quarter because we knew now how we had to be able to defend. And rather than giving them options in so many areas, we knew we just needed to take away the three. Joe, do you? I would imagine you want Taylor Russ taking big shots and bowling like that. She feel she looks like she feels completely comfortable in those moments. Uh, we really do. Uh, and the interesting part, when I look back through this season. Uh, Air Force had made a run on us. Uh, first conference game of the season. Got to within two points with five minutes to go. Taylor had just missed a three earlier down the floor. And Taylor steps up and hits a three to give us a five-point lead and gave us a little bit of a cushion. Against Fresno, Taylor had two good looks in the last three minutes. The ball just didn't find the bottom of the net. Uh, I always tell shooters, you keep shooting. Uh, and the confidence she has, those were big shots for us to hit. And I also thought defensive rebounding was important tonight uh, from our guard line because we knew their size was going to keep the ball alive. And when you looked at Clara had four, Taylor had five defensive rebounds, Haley had two. That's a lot of rebounds out of your guard line. So all in all, I was very pleased with the effort, uh, but it, it was never easy. I guess you know you, you talk about experience and making winning plays, and it, you know it didn't come down to the wire this time, but. I mean, like you mentioned, they had all the momentum. They, they tied the game at 33-33. I guess you're talking about, it didn't look like you guys panicked. They didn't look like your players panicked. Did they? What we talked about uh, was getting back to just trying to secure four minutes. Let's win the next four minutes. Because I thought that we started worrying about the score too much. And we started uh, taking some difficult shots. And you see, we wanted to make it happen rather than let it happen. And I thought then during that run, we executed very well. And you're correct. Uh, we seemed calm. Uh, if you'd have told me that, you know, Natalie and Marta are going to go for three for 16, um, I'd have told you it's either going to be a loss or we're barely going to find a way to win this one. And so we needed other players to step up. I thought Bailey Cotton hit two big free throws or jump shots from the free throw line when we really need it. Bailey also had five offensive rebounds that gave us extra possessions. So all in all, once again, a big team effort. And we picked players up that may not have had their best shooting night. But they worked at it. And it was good to see Natalie find other ways to be able to score. And then when she finally did make her three, it was like the weight of Wyoming was lifted off of her. And uh, there was a timeout. And she was smiling. And I was smiling. And uh, you could just feel the pressure being released. You weren't playing well necessarily offensively, like shooting the ball in the third, but are you proud of, you know, focus so much on defense? You, you were still able, despite the fact they came back and tied it, to dig in defensively and not let them get ahead. That's, uh, when we talked back in October that that's what we were going to be known for is defending. Um, because one of the things that I thought we were going to really have a tough time scoring some nights. But I knew defensively we could be in some games. We were going to slow the pace down and make runs when we had the opportunity. And so when they closed it down, and for us to give up 15 total points in the second half, I thought was really a mark of how well we played and limited them to one shot and out. And that's the thing. Come Monday, when we sit down and talk, that's going to be the first thing that's going to be addressed is how well we played defensively and then I thought Clara's big steal. 
that turned it around, got us running, and we got another basket. And uh, that's important for us to once again know that defensively we can stay in games when probably offensively we're not playing very well. Joe, the slogan is you can't have losing streaks in February. Well, how, how big was it to, to get this one with what you got coming up the last five? You know, we always talk about not looking ahead. But as a coach, I knew how this schedule laid out, uh, what the first nine conference games were going to be like, what the last nine conference games were going to be like. And uh, you have to defend home court. you got to find a way to f get the victories here. And when we drop the game at Fresno, that magnifies this game, knowing you're at Colorado State on Wednesday. And uh, you try to make sure your team just goes and plays. But yet, when you start talking to them, they understand what's going on. The challenge is, is they've never been in this position before. So no matter what they've accomplished, uh, this is all new on them, feeling this kind of pressure, playing towards the end where you have some of the biggest challenges ahead. And so, and then playing a team today that's as hot as anybody was really a big step forward for this group. Was there another step of you go from that defense in the third to finishing the game? I think you finished on like a 26 to 7 run. Uh, all of a sudden, it seems like when you're making shots, there are times it seems like your defense seems to have more energy. And you could see the relief on some players' faces when we got up 10 again. And then you can really dig in. Because when you talk to Liv, Clara, uh, Bailey, they take a lot of pride in what they're able to do defensively. And I thought Bailey did a tremendous job. Uh, she probably gave up three to five inches most days today, or most matchups today. And I thought she did a tremendous job. And they like the challenge, but they like success with it, too. All right, well, I'll ask it. It felt like it got really tight there, but it felt like you guys weren't panicked. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that a fair statement to say in that? Yeah. Around? Yeah, I think that's something that Coach always speaks on. Um, you know, we keep, we keep our confidence. We keep our composure. And um, I think that you could see that, you know, they were coming back and um, we were we couldn't hit a field goal that's basically all it was you know we, we were playing okay defense there in the third but we just needed to hit one just to break the ice once again and so um, you know we got a few, few free throws which was nice but um, finally getting that that field goal really helped us and and then we went on our way and did what did what we do so mm -hmm. Did you feel, Taylor, like your three kind of broke maybe the biggest ice of all in that first one of the game from the corner? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it got us going a little bit. And like Liv said, like that first field goal, I mean, we just feed off of each other then, and it works. Yeah. I guess as a player, as a team, do you kind of sense when you guys aren't shooting well? I mean, you were old nine as a team before that. Do you kind of feel that they aren't falling at that point? And yeah, but I mean, Coach tells us, I mean, you're in there, and you got to shoot it when you're open. And he said he'll take you out if he doesn't want you to shoot, so right. you just got to keep taking them. They'll fall eventually, and they did so. Mm -hmm. I guess, Bailey, that was a tall team, and yet you were effective offensively. <laughs> it seems like you are against the bigger teams, I guess. Is there anything you like better playing against bigger players? or? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, really physical. It helps that um, especially we're able to step out a little bit, and they're not used to guarding on the perimeter, especially on Nat and Marta. So. Um, I think that helps a lot, but uh, <laughs> yeah, get, playing defense on them <laughs> is definitely a challenge, so that I do not like. <laughs> I guess, talk about, you know, Joe mentioned that their new lineup had, had helped them really. Mm -hmm. what, what was it about, what, what did they do differently that they did the first time against you guys? Um, I just think that they're a lot bigger and they're harder to pass over. You know, there's a few passes, or like when we're inside, where we, someone switches off and then I have a bigger person on me than I did before. Um, so I know there's like a 6-2 guarding me and then I'd switch off and then there would be like another 6-2 girl and so um, it was just difficult to pass around be there being longer and, and then um, it's just harder to get inside because I don't want to go up against a 6-2 girl and so um, I think that's one thing that was dramatically different and then um, coach just said that they're playing with a lot of intensity and I think you could see that they're playing hard they're playing with a lot of confidence because they just beat some two of the top teams, Boise State and Colorado State. And so um, it was nice to to come into this game and feel confident at home and um, go 2-0 against them this year.
do you think maybe that third quarter, maybe you did maybe match their intensity right away in that third quarter? And that's when they got a tie? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, they just came out because they had a good end of like last four minutes of the second or the first half. And so we knew that we needed to pick it up on defense. And that's one thing we really spoke on in the locker room. And, um, you know, we came out a little bit sluggish, but, uh, you know, I don't think it really affected us. We we knew we could make a field goal, and so, and we just kept defending and holding a team to 40 points. Really says, you know, that's what we've been working on in practice. Is that a nice way to close out the game? I mean, I think you guys ended on like a 26 to seven run or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it felt good. Honestly, we um, felt like we were rolling, and I think after those first like five minutes of the third quarter, we really like got back into our groove. They took us out of our game a little bit. And so once we like lifts free throws and saw the ball go in the basket, like that really helped. Taylor, for you, uh, it feels like you can kind of get lost in the offense a little bit. Did you feel like you were able to find an open spot because they're focusing on Liv and, and some other people? Did you... Um, Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were switching everything, so it was kind of hard. Um, and like they're, like Liv said, they're bigger, you know, so it's kind of hard to get in the inside, but um, that means bigger girls are on you. So yeah, on the three point line, it's it's nice, yeah. Are you comfortable everywhere? Do you like it from the, I mean, I, I don't remember any three, a corner three pointers. Like, um, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me, uh -huh. um, but if it's open, yeah, I'll shoot it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess maybe coming off Wednesday, how big was it just to kind of get that winning feeling back, especially, mm -hmm. you know, what you got coming up Wednesday in Colorado. State. Yeah, yeah, coach just said, you know, after, after our win, he just said, good win. That's a good one before we take on um, Colorado State on, on Wednesday. And um, that's going to be a big test for us because it's, it's another road game. And um, we haven't been doing very well on the road. We haven't been shooting well. We've been playing our defense just like usual. But um, so that's going to be important for us. You know, we want to see the ball go through the hoop. <laughs> and um, so this, this was a, a great win for us. And any win's great in conference.